All right guys, something that I've always wondered about is how good does survival food actually taste? And so I have with me my beautiful wife. Why are you she, laughing? Because you're cheesing so hard. I'm excited. So. We're matching. Oh, wow. That's oh. awesome. But Ooh. mine's more spiritual than yours. Yeah, because she'll end this off t after this video. <laughs> All right, so we're going to try out some survival food. Uh, let's see what choices we have. We have a lot of choices, so we are going to do all of them. Yeah. Pick which one you like better, the cheesy lasagna, the creamy pasta, I can't see. pasta alfredo, chili macaroni, chicken flavored noodle soup, savory stroganoff, <laughs> hearty tortilla soup, potatoes and chicken flavored pot pie, teriyaki, I can't rice. see your thumb, rice, loaded baked potato casserole, southwest rice and beans, tomato basil soup with pasta, and cheesy macaroni. That all sounds disgusting, <laughs> so you can pick. Oh, see... When it comes down to survival, you don't really care the taste. You just want to survive. But we're going to see if it tastes good. because I'm not surviving good. right now. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But yeah, I'm sure like if I haven't had food for like a week, like I would be cool with this. <laughs> Is this like the same thing as like military food? Uh, they have uh, meals ready to eat. Because I remember my brother kind of the same thing. ate one of these before. All right, creamy pasta. I brought it to my house. You gotta add water to this whole thing. What if I don't have water? What if we don't have water? <laughs> well, if you guys watched my survival bug out bag video, I will always have water on me because I have a filtered water bottle. What is this? Stroganoff. We got stroganoff here. You want a loaded baked potato casserole? Hey, yes. what would you want? What do you want, buddy? Potatoes and chicken flavored pot Ooh, pie. he's heavy. Should we do that one? Oh, that sounds so gross. I don't even like that in normal life. Oh, God. All right, we're going to do a loaded baked potato casserole. Now, this has four servings, and each serving has 200 calories. So that's pretty darn good. That's a whole 800 calories in this bad boy. So this one says boiled water. That just doesn't make sense, because if I'm surviving... That says boil water. Oh, well, that's normal because I would just make a fire. Yeah, so all these say boil. Should we just not boil? Because what if we're in dire need and we don't have time to boil? Yeah. I would already have made my fire and I would have found a pot on the side of the river, oh, something correct. I could have yeah. used, and my water would already be boiling. So if I was like, oh, boil, that's easy. Easy. We would already have boiling water. So four cups of boiling water, and then you're going to add the contents of this pouch into the boiling water. Then you're gonna turn off the heat and you're gonna cover it for 12 minutes. And then you're gonna let it cool for three minutes. Hopefully I don't die by then. All right, we got a lot of steps to do here, so we'll be back. Here it is. Mmm. Does <laughs> it smell good? Mm. Let me show you guys what this looks like as a close up. You would think it's like, some gourmet meal has like the spices in there. I feel like honestly, if you put it in a better bowl, like I wouldn't have been so weirded out. A better bowl? What's wrong with this bowl? Like I went, why did you just put it in this one? So I got, so I got a plate with it just in case it's disgusting and you want to spit it out. Me? You gotta yeah. eat it too. I know, but I'll, I'll take it like a champ. So I, I will have to take back what I said about them earlier with boiling the water. They said if you do not have a hot water source, you just pour your water in there and let it sit for 20 minutes. So it will work with room temperature water. So it just right. probably won't taste as good. Okay, you go first. Oh god, I'm so nervous. It doesn't like it's it smells right. I wouldn't say like it smells good because there's definitely like a weirdness to it. But that's just the first. I'm saying we're not gonna get a gourmet meal. Like we're surviving. Or are we? <laughs> <laughs> Don't like. Okay. I'm gonna get some off. Alright, here we go. Okay, that makes it look so much grosser. It's like a soup. It's a but soupy like, consistency. Before you eat it, what's different between this and bread coat? They do the same thing. They That's like true. freeze it and then just melt it. So it's probably the same. It's all the placebo effect. Yes. Right now, we have been in the jungle for 20 days. I'm hungry. Mmm. So yummy. Really? It's not good? There's no way. It's how I taste it. I don't really want to eat it. Try it. It's not bad. It's just the uh, potatoes in there still have like that uncooked texture. 
But if it sat a little longer, it'd probably be just fine. Like the flavor of it tastes fine. Like if I was surviving, I'd be doing pretty good if I had this. Yeah, def yeah. It just, yeah. It's a little uncooked. And I'm not gonna lie, guys, we had like a five course meal before this. So I'm not even close to I would to totally hungry. eat this. I'm not gonna sit here and eat this because I don't have to. Huh. But I would totally eat that. That's fine. It tastes probably like, like the flavoring would taste something like Breadco, which you guys don't know what Breadco is if you don't live in St. Louis. So I'm talking about Panera. Um, so it tastes like Panera's soup, just obviously without like a legit potato. Yeah. Where's my water? Uh, on the ground. So, okay. For a 30 year shelf life, survival situation, I will give it a, a 10 out of 10. That's pretty crazy because I'm 23, 23, 33, 43, 53 years old. I can eat this bag of thing when I'm 53. Yeah, so. So with that being said, like the fact that it'll stay in a freaking bag in my storage closet <laughs> for 30 years, all the way up until I'm 53 years old, it tastes pretty darn good. That's worth it to me. I mean, if COVID didn't teach us anything other than you have to have a food source on hand because you never know what's gonna happen. And I feel like good stuff. for me, this would be better than just like eating like rice and beans. Oh, Oh, or like canned beans or canned peas or something, you know, which that's fine because that's way cheaper than this. But I mean, if you want to live that bougie life, if this is something you like to do, <laughs> like why not start collecting it now? Because you, sure, you can eat some peas, but like why? Why not have a tasty meal? Why not be this eating is, Panera when everyone else is eating peas? And this is a good barter object too. That's so, so true. Let's act it out for them. Okay. And scene. <sighs> Excuse me? Yes? Do you have any food for a boy like me? No. I'll trade you this beautiful crossbow. Oh, that is a beautiful crossbow. Would you trade me? I'm so hungry. I only have rice and beans. I will do anything for those rice and beans. So now guys, give them the rice and beans and keep this for yourself and get the crossbow. But in reality, he's so weak, you just hit him in the stomach, take his crossbow and run. <laughs> so then, not only do I have a new crossbow, I have potatoes and chicken flavored pot pie! Yeah, perfect barter object! So if you're wondering what this one is, it is Ready Wise. And, uh, I'm not we got gonna this. lie, my stomach kinda hurts. <laughs> yeah, we might have to do an update on this to see if our stomachs are okay after this. But honestly, my stomach's doing pretty good right now. So. I know. <laughs> uh, look in the comments below, and we'll tell you guys how we've done after a couple of hours. But this we got at a local uh, farmer shop by our house. Farm, home, and supply. Farm, home, and supply. And they were on a killer discount, so we bought a couple of these, and we've always wanted to try it out. So that was only one out of, like, ten, looks like ten options. And, uh... That's a lot of food here. Can they buy this online? I'm sure you could. Uh, Ready Wise is the brand, so I'm sure you guys can look that up. So and how much was it for all this, of these? Meals? At the store was 80 bucks, but online they say it goes for 120. So if you can find a good deal around you, I would pick it up. So 120 divided by how many meals does it come? Uh, comes with. I don't know if it really tells us that. Oh, okay. 25. 25 years oh. of life. 60 servings. Okay. Is that what it says? Yeah, 60 servings. So that's not bad. That's like $2 a meal, right? I don't know. <laughs> if you have 60 servings, that's like $2 a meal. If it was, if it cost 120 so that's not too bad. So, yeah. Uh, another website I like to use is uh, My Patriot Supply. They have some good survival choices as well. I like that website as well. I go on there in my free time. You too? Yeah. <laughs> I do too. Now it's good to have food for when you're starving or bread for when you're hungry, but there is only one who offers the true bread of life, and that is through Jesus Christ. If you do not know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I encourage you, do so today, because when you do, you will not regret it. Trust me. So until next time, stay safe, and God bless. I don't do the most, but I do a lot. I'ma make a toast, cause we still alive. No big, I feel like pop. I shoot a shot. I'm coming in.